so we completed till depreciation so moving on let's go to the next topic which is special valuations so what is special valuation so a lot of options we have here so what I will do is we will do net special valuation later let's talk about master data first this is very important so in master data what happened is number one is the screen layout let me see what is the next option okay so number one is the screen layout what screen layout is so screen layout for asset master data so in this step you define the layout control for asset master data and the screen layout contain the specifications for field groups in the asset master so this method allows you to structure the master records occur individually for each asset class so you can differentiate the master record master data for different type of asset classes you can say for vehicle and machinery it would be different for any other class like vehicles it would be different for land it would be different because you're div you have you capture different type of master data when you you capitalize assets your every asset cannot have the same master data so that's why this screen layout option is applicable on asset class so for same asset class for one asset class having 100 any number of assets all will follow the same layout rule this step must be carried out exactly to guarantee optimal master data maintenance so the reason behind this is SAP can give you option that have you have a common master data you can keep the same layout for all asset classes but then you have to it will be an unnecessary maintaining of master data for example land and machinery you have two asset classes okay for machinery you are maintaining model number and serial number but for land you don't need model number and serial number so it is better rather to maintain and have those fields on the screen let's hide those fields so that's why you know this option is available standard settings are SAP deliver some objects sample definition which you can use as reference when formulating a more detailed structure for the asset master and here we create the layout so the way it looks like is define screen layout okay why it takes me to the change okay so here I have so we already created ZA01 and now we have option what is what all I need to maintain required what all is optional and what all is something hidden like for this is for buildings for building I don't need inventory number I don't need serial number I don't need second description long text I don't need unit of measure I don't need quantity I don't need main text number I don't need so anything I don't need I will just change it then we go into this second option posting information so this is these are the tabs in the asset master data and for each tab you can control the field settings now if I go into this cap date it is required or not so it is basically automatic field when the data is captured deactivation date it's optional time dependent data for building I don't need license plate number I need a cost center I don't need a business area I need a location I need a building room number I don't need a maintenance order so it is basically you know you are optimizing your master data rather having 
so many useless fields on the screen you just see the limited things allocations so i want to see i don't want to see asset group number i just want to see one evaluation group and i don't want to see this so whatever i don't want to see i say don't display me i don't need leasing data net worth valuation all these are already hidden real estate and similar right so this might be important because building is a kind of real estate thing we can put area unit is important so we can open this okay so if it is mental level we do this 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 and this okay so all is getting saved in the same transport insurance is the building insured insurance company i think it is better you know to put that policy number so that's how we maintain the master data so we have other options also origin from where it came so that's how we can control all these things supplier there is no supplier for building no manufacturer no affiliated company okay so this is how you can control your which and now what i'll do is i'll assign this layout to my building asset class so automatically all the setting which i have done building will follow everything same screen create screen layout for asset master record so here you can create the must the screen layouts so what does it do do we have any sap help so configurable entry screen for creating multiple assets so if you want to create multiple assets together we can probably use this screen so there will be further configuration for this okay so this is the first option next is define screen layout for asset depreciation areas now what to do with your depreciation areas so from here you can control on depreciation area which will field is visible which or field is required again the same thing so here normally key is always a required option you cannot avoid this until you have key there will be no depreciation useful life is optional because based on the key sap can determine there is no requirement of useful life if it is a method is defined in the key so it, that's why it is optional dep start date is optional it will automatically populated when you start the dip, when you capitalize the asset system populates the depreciation key that the odd start date so we will see when we create the master data we will see this topic scrap value is optional because we cannot make it mandatory because it is not required in every country it is you can say country specific thing for example japan requires scrap value for the assets then we have tab layout for master record which tab should be visible
standard layout one. What is this? It have everything. Standard layout, only general. So let's do one thing. Let's make a copy of this and create our own. Z A A zero one. Tab layout for A A zero one. And now, what is the position of tabs? First is general. Corresponding entry in tab page title missing. Okay. So here we have. So I don't want let's say net worth. I don't want origin and then we control the same so I don't want all the tabs to be visible on my asset, so I just control this. I assign tab layout to asset classes. So here I can say, for my asset class, okay. So this is my asset class. Now I assign to this asset class, I assign my tab layout ZAA0 which I just created. Process selection criteria. This is not the right one. This is not used normally. Country specific data is something. Which country we are talking about? Let's say we are talking about Japan. So we can activate the country specific settings if required. Okay. So the next is user fields. Here what I can do is I can define the additional fields for my I can define the additional field for my asset master data number one is evaluation groups so I can tell for evaluation group one name should be it would be four characters so I would say normal asset normal 
asset for one again intangibles for one again AUC I can make a table so this is something I'm making a table so this all these field will be visible in the drop down in the asset master data and I can tell prepaids so let me show you how it looks like AS01 Okay, so I have suppressed the business area. So it says business area, you can, you know, I just make it hidden. It says you cannot hide the business area. Okay, this is what it is saying. You see here, business area I have hit, hidden. I have to say optional. So I have to cancel this. Yes, zero one. Okay. So here we have evaluation group. You see, I just maintained these entries. AUC is intangible, so here it is visible. So we can maintain these entries and we have we can have more evaluation groups here as per our requirement. Okay. We should not save it now because you know we have to do a lot of activities still. So this is the use of this evaluation group. We have four evaluation groups. We can set now. We use the second one, and then we'll say test assets, and then we can say R and D assets. And then we can say customer assets, old assets. So that's how that's what we can do. And then what I can do is I can activate from the screen layout field, I can activate the evaluation group two as well for this asset class allocations you see I have hidden that make it optional here I can say and now if I want to see my asset and I have two evaluation groups and then here is my drop down customer assets old assets R&D assets test assets so whatever I want to make I can change it and I can also rename this field evaluation group one or whatever you know we will we will see that how to rename that